That looks like a proper outhouse. I like it. Good morning, modern steaders. Today, we got a lot of figuring and calculating to do. We're gonna get the door installed. We're gonna get this back wall covered in some tar paper, and then we're gonna get it boarded. We'll get the interior walls boarded, and hopefully we'll get our composting toilet set in place in our sink. Those are the goals for the day. Let's see how far we can make it. So the plan is to put tar paper on the wall, cover up all the cracks, and board everything in here. And then that way, the wall adjacent to the outdoor kitchen, nobody can see you or hear you. That's the first step of making the outhouse more private. A nice black wall. I lined all the walls with tar paper. That way it'll keep the breeze blowing off you if it's 20 below out. I'm gonna start boarding this back wall. I don't think you'll be able to see me much, so I'll be back in a few minutes. Yeah. That looks nice. Now we will get this wall done. Ooh. And finish up this one. We're getting it sided. We got the inside walls all boarded. Now we're working on the base for the compost and toilet. I don't know how well, if any, you'll be able to see any of this footage. That's why I haven't been recording. We don't have that much room to be working. using some rough sawn 2x4s that we have left over and some scrap 2x6 pieces to build this base on. Well, we were building our house. We didn't have any running water or anything. So I had a five gallon bucket that I rigged up and made into a compost and toilet that we would use here. And that's what I'm using for a template right now to figure out how I want to build all this. So that'll fit nicely there. I like it just like that. Now that I know where my five gallon bucket's going, I traced it with a pencil mark. I'm gonna screw a board so that the five gallon pail can't get pushed too far back. That'll be our stopper. Now with the stopper in place, bucket can't go any further back. There. I have it like that. So that bucket's perfectly lined up now. Now we need to work on our top boards. There. I was going to cut out for the toilet seat, but I took my toilet seat apart off my five gallon bucket and I had it screwed in here and it kind of ruined it. So I'm gonna have to go get another toilet seat. Tomorrow we'll be installing the toilet seat, but today we can finish up wrapping this area with pine here and here. And we'll get the door put on. I guess I should say, we'll build the door and then put it on. I got a pretty cool idea, I think, for this stuff. You have to wait till tomorrow. We have a nice place to sit so far. We'll finish up the rest of it tomorrow. Let's get started on the door. Let's get it built and get it on. Yes. I already pre-cut the boards to length. The only board I haven't cut is our Z-bracing. And I'm gonna wait until we have it all put together and screwed before we figure that out. Now, people have been saying the door's a little narrow, and it kinda is. But how big of a door do you really need on an outhouse? Now, we gotta do the Z bracing. This one's a 15 degree angle, where the one we did for the inside house was a 22 and a half degree angle. 
just going to put my board in place. I've got the other end already cut. And I'll just bring you down here and I'll show you what we're doing. I'm just getting all my edges lined up nice and flush. And I'm going to bring my pencil and make a mark. And that's where we're going to cut it. Before we put any glue on it, we need to just dry fit it and make sure it's everything we want. I like that. All the edges look nice. Let's take it back out. Flip it over and glue it. If I'm going to get a toilet seat, I'll have to pick up some more glue. We're having like an Indian summer here. 90 something degrees out today. Crazy for northern New Hampshire. And here it is, middle of September. And I know there's some areas that are getting snow out west. That's just nuts. For hinges, we just bought some National Hardware heavy duty gate hinges. I'll put a link to that in the descriptions down below for an Amazon affiliate link. Perfect. Those should work nice. For the, posi for the positioning of our hinge, we just went as far up against the board and the Z-Rail that it would let us to sit where it's supposed to sit naturally. The reason we use affiliate links is it helps support us a little bit. If you click on an affiliate link, Lumna Acres will get a small commission of the product you bought. It doesn't cost you any more. And it doesn't even have to be the product that we linked. If you click on that link and then buy something, we get a small commission and it all depends on the product. It's usually like two to five percent, depending on what you buy. So if you want to help support Lumna Acres, that's one of the ways you can do it without costing you anything. I guess I shouldn't say that. It costs you your time because you have to intentionally click on the link, and we appreciate that. We want to thank the modern steaders who use it. The other hinge was 14 and a half. That's what we're going to set this one to, is 14 and a half, just to make them the same. Nice, let's get the door on. I'm excited for this part. I'm going to put some boards down to space the ground. So when I get the door over here, I can rest the door right here. That should be good. If I have to need to grab another board, I will. Hope we figured everything correctly. Put a couple of screws in and we'll try it. Get these last two screws in the bottom hinge. The same thing on the top. Decided to add one more board. This board will act as a stop for the door. So I'm going to set it at the same spot the trim is, or the same spot the siding is, I should say. That way when the door closes, it'll have something to hit against. Now if 
somebody slams the door behind them, we don't got to worry about them pulling it through. Oh, I'm just going to put a screw in the door so I have something to hold on to for now. How are we doing? I like it. And we thought that was all done. <laughs> no, I changed my mind. Let's put one up on the top too. Let's have the door sealed off as much as we can. We don't want to make it easy for the critters to get in. Gives you a pretty nice tight fit. A little bit of a crack, but I put some glue in there hoping when the boards dry they'll stay tight there and not have to shrink on the edges. We'll find out. You can see the glue in there a little bit. We hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope it wasn't too crappy for you. <laughs> Let's take a look around. So now we need to cut the hole. Have a second bucket for sawdust. Get our sink installed. We need a handle on the inside. We need to come up with a latch system. And a handle on the outside. But all in all, I'm liking it. That looks like a proper outhouse. I like it. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it's really helping the channel grow. Check out our blog. If you want to find out more of why we're building a composting outhouse, check out our blog at www.lumnaacres.com. I'll leave a link here and in the description down below. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.